I do think I got everything, I'm pretty sure anyways. Waiting for Phil, we're gonna be heading out to Hippie Fest today. I'm gonna be spending a couple days out there, then it's gonna be going straight to work. All right, for the seventh year, we're packing up, we're headed off to the local Hippie Festival, and Captain Dan is going for his first experience, so this ought to be a good one. Phil, what do you got me into? Well, this is your first year, I'll give you the quick rundown. We got four days, four nights, 30 bands, two coolers full of food, and uh, another two coolers full of beer, and you better behave yourself or we're gonna throw your ass in the fire. Captain Phil's first words of advice. That at this festival, if I have to answer every question that you ask. If I have to explain everything you see here this weekend. Your head will blow right off your shoulders. Your head will explode. Let's see, do we have everything? We have, uh, we have our beer. Do we have our beer? Good. We got beer. Sure. Do you have beer? Everybody's got beer. We got firewood, we got our tents, we got our easy ups, we got our camp chairs, we got our, oh, we got our camp stove. We got spring water for the sissies in the group. Um, I think we're about ready to go. We ought to go do this thing. When we set up camp at this festival, there's six or seven of us local guides that all get together for our last big hurrah before the season starts. This is our last chance to relax before we go weeks without any sleep. What people don't realize, we have to make all our money in about three months out of the year, so we've really got to be on top of our game. We knew that Captain Dan wasn't really prepared for this, so I had to loan him a tie-dyed t-shirt just so he didn't look like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you go. My woman's got a laundry list of yeah. things for me to